Hi, I'm Jonathan and in this short on shape tutorial you're gonna learn how to create a small 3D printable box with filament hinges. Let's get started. So after creating your sketch, start off with a little rectangle, shortcut R, and I will be using variables at this point. Now just start extrude with shift E, again using variables. So because this is just gonna be one part, we're gonna divide the variable by two. Extrude again, just this time with an offset. Don't forget to select new. First, we're gonna take the perimeter from before with the use tool and create a second perimeter with the offset tool. So select the right part and again make a formula with the variables. Copy these steps for the other half. We are now going to make a shadow line, which will help the box close neatly. First, take the outer perimeter again and move it inwards by about half the wall thickness. Now, do the same thing again. Just this time take the middle perimeter and move it outwards very slightly by about 0.3 millimeters. The next thing to do is to select the outer two rings and remove down for one millimeter. Now extrude again, but this time only use the outer one, add merge scope part 2, other direction at 0.7 millimeters, for the hinge you're just gonna take two circles, the inner one about 2 millimeters and the second one with about one millimeter distance from the head around it. Then add a little line. Make it printable. Now just extrude it for about one centimeter and afterwards extrude it again just with a offset of the previous defined length variable. Now do the same thing for the upper half, just when extruding make sure that you move it slightly inward and leave a small gap between them, like you can see here. Now for the last part, a clasping mechanism, I actually suggest that you try to do uh, something of your own and try to improve your skills that way, but if you want you can copy my design here now. For assembly, just take a little filament strand, snip it off and push the ends in with a soldering iron or if you don't have one, just take a hot glue gun.
If you've learned anything new from this video, give it a like or even subscribe. Bye!